intervals are the distances between any two notes in music. Intervals form chords. The easiest way to understand intervals is to look at the guitar neck. If we take the index finger and put it on the first fret of the first string, and then take the middle finger, the second finger, and put it on the second fret of the first string, that's a minor second. If we lift our hand up again here and put the index finger on the first fret of the first string, and the ring finger, the third finger, on the third fret of the first string, that's a major second. Minor seconds are the smallest intervals. Major seconds are composed of two minor seconds. These are the abbreviations for minor and major seconds. Open chords are chords that utilize open strings. Here are some examples of open chords. Mm -hmm. Let's talk a little bit about chord playing technique. In the left hand, it's very important for most chords to place your fingers perpendicular to the neck. You can use your thumb and move it behind the neck, lining up with the index finger to help support the hand and create a better tone. In the right hand, it's a good idea to angle your pick forward a little bit and let it bounce along the strings rather than strum directly through them. This creates a better sound and more of a dynamic sweep in terms of loudness and softness. In this video, you're going to have a chance to play the C major chord in a short song. And what I'd like you to try doing is strumming the chord once on the downbeat, then lifting your fingers off the fretboard and then placing them down on the fretboard for the C major with enough time to strum on the downbeat of the next measure. So in other words, you'll strum a C on the first beat of the measure, then lift your hand up and strum it and put it, put it down again for the first beat of the next measure. so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it and that it helped you out with some new areas of your guitar playing.